Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi 3 for the first time and I'm going to install the Android TV on this device. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Asatoshi and you're watching Tech Fusion. I make weekly tech videos so if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So today we are going to install the Android TV on the Raspberry Pi 3 and I'm going to show you the first boot on how it looks on the Raspberry Pi 3. So guys first of all you need the Raspberry Pi, I am using the Raspberry Pi 3 the latest version. Then you need a micro SD card, uh, I am using the SanDisk uh, 16 GB micro SD card and it should be a minimum of class 10. You can also use a 8 GB memory card. Then the next thing you need is a micro SD card reader which uh, you can connect it to your computer or your laptop so that you can write the operating system on your micro SD card. So after having these tools, let's head over to the computer. So guys the first step is to connect your memory card to your memory card reader and then connect it to your PC or your laptop. So let's go. So guys after connecting the micro SD card to your laptop or your computer you need to download a software called as SD formatter. The download link is given in the description below and you have to select your drive on which the SD card is mounted and in format type uh, click on quick and click format okay okay after the format is done click on exit then you have to download another software for writing the ISO file of the operating system that's the win32 disk image the download link is also given in the description below so in win32 disk image select the ISO file of the operating system you can download various operating system but in this case I have downloaded the Android TV operating system the link of this is also given in the description below so all three softwares uh, uh, download links are given in the description below so after clicking after opening the ISO file click on write and sit back and relax after the write is complete just remove your SD card and let's plug it in and play into the Raspberry Pi let's connect the SD card and uh, Connect it to our Raspberry Pi. Now let's plug this Raspberry Pi into our TV. Let's go. I have connected to my TV through the HDMI cable. I have plugged in into a power supply uh, with the USB cable, and I have also plugged in a mic uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard with it to give it the input. You can also connect it to a mouse but uh, Android TV does not require a mouse. So in other operating systems you can uh, you require a mouse. So let's go and board it up for the first time. So guys currently I am running the Android TV on the Raspberry Pi 3 I have connected to my uh, TV. And uh, the first boot took around 5 minutes because uh, it was trying to uh, enable the all the drivers on the Raspberry Pi. And, took, and it took around 5 minutes so after the boot is completed uh, you can navigate on your Raspberry Pi uh, through your keyboard uh, mouse doesn't work on this operating system this Raspberry Pi um, means this uh, Android system so you can uh, navigate through your keyboard so you can connect to the Wi-Fi to the keyboard so I have just connected it right now you can just go to and connect it through your keyboard so thanks for watching guys in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to sideload apps on this uh, Android TV uh, so stay tuned uh, for that and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notification about that so there it is guys you have installed the Android TV on the Raspberry Pi 3 so if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys this is Asit and you're watching TechFood